Hello guys, welcome to today's class where we'll be looking at the proper, another property of binary operations which we term the identity element. Now, the identity element serves as an identity to a binary operation that is any operation that we're dealing with and then it, 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 it actually explains the fact that was that when you have a particular variable with an, with an, with another, with, in a particular operation with the identity element, the value you should get should be unaffected by the second variable, which will now be the identity element. Now, in, in plain words, what I'm saying is, the identity element is that variable that when you relate it with the original variable, gives you the original variable again. So the identity element, the aim of the identity element is to actually make the original variable look unaffected by the, the operation. So, in short, when I have a variable A relating with, with a variable, with a variable, with another particular variable, which is the identity element, the, 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 the product, which is the third value that will be produced, will now be the same value for the A. That is, which will now be the first value again, because the identity element there, that has related with the first value, will make that operation seem as if it was never, as if it never held at all, as if it was, as if it never even held at all. So that is what the identity element does. It kind of what neutralizes the effect of any operation that we're actually working on. Now, in, Mathematically, I can express the identity element as what well. we actually use the symbol E to represent the identity element. The letter E is used to represent the identity element, and then we 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 express the identity the, the, the relation between the identity elements and any particular operation is giving us a particular x. We have a variable x in an operation with the identity element E. The products of this operation should give me the x again, which is the original variable. Which is, as what I, according to what I explained, we realized that was the identity element here relating with the original variable does not make the product unaffected by the relationship, by the operation. So it makes it look as if the original value is what we still get. And that is what the identity element does. So the identity element is a very important property of binary operations. And then, we can actually now get the identity element for various operations that we have, various binary operations, as these the basic ones. For the basic ones, I can say for addition, I'm talking about addition now. The identity element of addition, we consider what when we, have, when we have addition, we have a particular variable x plus the identity element given uh, giving us x, and then we need to determine what identity elements. What will be the value of that identity element that when, that when you add x, when you add a variable x to it, will give you the same x again. We know that what we have our identity element to be what x minus x in this case, and then our identity element is zero. Therefore, we see that what for addition, the identity element for addition is zero. Let's try, let's look at for subtraction. For subtraction, if you have a particular variable x, which is in an operation subtraction, with the identity element, it must give you the was the variable x again. So in order to determine the identity element, you can say x minus x equals to e, and then that means our e also is zero. That means the identity element, therefore, the identity element for both addition and subtraction is zero. For both addition and subtraction is zero. So that is the identity element for addition. So it can be asked in any case that was, what is the identity element of addition? What is the, what is the identity element of the subtraction operation? So we know that was the identity element for the respective operations are or is zero. So let's look at the identity element for multiplication. For multiplication, we know that what for multiplication, the identity element for multiplication will be what we take a particular A, relating it as it by the multiplication symbol to the identity element E, it must give us, giving us back the A. In order to get our A, we know that what this our E here will be A divided by A, and we can say that our identity element for multiplication, so that is the identity element for multiplication, addition, and subtraction. In the next class, we'll be looking at how we can actually solve examples and then determine their identity elements based on the particular operations they were dealing with. See you next class.